Thirty men set sail on a ship bound for the Arctic. They had heard rumors of a lost civilization hidden deep within the icy tundra and were determined to find it. The men were a diverse group, comprising of experienced sailors, adventurous academics, and eager young explorers. They had prepared for this journey for months, gathering information, studying maps, and gathering supplies. As they journeyed further north, the men faced harsh conditions and treacherous ice. They encountered fierce storms that battered their ship and had to navigate through thick ice flows that threatened to crush their vessel. But they pressed on, driven by their desire to make history. The men worked together, taking turns to keep watch and keeping the ship's spirits high with stories and song. Finally, after weeks of sailing, they spotted something on the horizon. It was a massive structure, towering above the ice and snow. The men anchored their ship and set out on foot to investigate. As they drew closer, they realized that the structure was a city. It was unlike anything they had ever seen before. The buildings were made of a strange material that glinted in the sunlight, and intricate carvings covered every surface. The men explored the city, marveling at its beauty and complexity. They soon discovered that the city was inhabited by a tribe of people who had lived there for generations. The tribe welcomed the men with open arms, and they spent the next few days learning about the tribe's culture and history. The tribe spoke a language that the men had never heard before, but with the help of a translator, they were able to communicate. The men were fascinated by the tribe's advanced technology and their deep understanding of the natural world. They learned that the tribe had thrived in the Arctic for centuries, using their knowledge to survive in the harsh environment. They had built sophisticated heating systems that kept their homes warm, even in the harshest of winters. They had also developed a unique form of agriculture that allowed them to grow crops in the barren tundra. The men also discovered that the tribe had a deep reverence for the natural world and had worked to preserve the delicate ecosystem of the Arctic. They had developed hunting and fishing techniques that were sustainable and did not harm the environment. They had also established protected areas where the native animals and plants could thrive. As the men prepared to leave the city, the tribe's leader gave them a gift. It was a map showing the location of other lost cities hidden throughout the Arctic. The men were filled with excitement at the thought of all the other discoveries waiting to be made. They set sail, eager to continue their journey and uncover the secrets of the Arctic. The men returned to their homeland with stories of their adventure and the lost civilization they had discovered. They became famous throughout the world, hailed as brave explorers who had uncovered a hidden world in the Arctic. The men knew that their discovery would change the way people thought about the Arctic and would inspire others to explore the region for themselves. They were proud of what they had accomplished and knew that their journey would be remembered for generations to come. The men shared their findings with the academic community and the world. Their discovery opened new possibilities for research and sparked a renewed interest in the Arctic, leading to more expedition and research to the region. Their discovery was hailed as one of the most significant archaeological finds of the century, and their names went down in history as the first people to discover the lost civilization hidden deep within the Arctic.